Hello my friends, today another video from my camper van build and the great thing is that I finally received my special mounting brackets that I need for installing my solar panels on the roof and last time I have built a rail and brought it up onto the roof. Now before I put on the solar panels I first want to show you the rail and how I have made it waterproof. So now let's check if the boards are uh, wet or if they are dry. So I have drilled eight holes into the roof and as you can see I've used some caulking and put it onto the bolt before I put on the nut. These are all dry gladly. Oh yeah and by the way I also have started to put on some insulation. So here at the side I was using Armaflex then this is aluminum putil, which I have on the tire housing. And then on this um, aluminum putil, I will put on one more layer of foam. So now I'm going to crawl onto the roof and check the rails and see um, how they were doing and how they are looking after the rain. So this is how the rails are looking. And as you can see, I have used some rubber underneath the rails so that it's not you know directly on the roof and there's also a little bit of a gap um, between the roof and the rail and um, i have used some silicone caulking underneath the rubber in between the rubbers and in between the rubber and the actual aluminium profile and then i also filled um, some silicone into this gap here which is in between the screw and the washer and the aluminium profile and I did that for all of the screws so here you can even see that it's still wet and there's water collecting inside of the profile and this will evaporate with the sun but yeah you have to be aware that if there's rain this might fill up with water. So if you don't seal this correctly, the water will run uh, besides the bolt right into the uh, camper van. And uh, what I got now is this thing here, which is a cap for the front here. The only thing is that it's not really sealing. And today I want to use some more silicone and seal this cap onto the aluminium profile and this is especially important for when you're driving and it's raining so that the rain cannot penetrate the profile so easily remove the noses of 12 of these corners or brackets and now I want to use the screw to mount this on and also at the other side I want to use this self-locking nut which comes with a rubber and this way it should not loosen itself anymore
Okay guys, so it took me like one and a half hours to fasten the solar panels to the rails and now I want to make a photo of my panels so that I always know what I have here. So one panel has 18 volts and 120 watts and it has 6.67 amperes. Now the cable that comes with um, one solar panel has a thickness of four square millimeters, which is fine for 6.67 amperes, but I'm going to connect these two panels in parallel. So then we have like a little bit above 13 amperes. And after the connection, so these are the connectors that I'm going to use. After the connection, I'm going to use a thicker cable and this has six square millimeters. But before I connect everything, I first want to um, reinforce the cable with this um, protective housing. I just want to make sure that the cables are as protected as possible. So in case I have a car accident, that there will be no short. And yeah, I try to minimize the damage. So now I want to connect the two solar panels in parallel and if you connect it in parallel you will get uh, double the amount of the ampere and the voltage is going to stay the same so we still have uh, 18 volts after the connection. Okay, I gotta say this looks really good and now I'm going to pull it up onto the roof and mount it onto the rails. Alright, so I asked my neighbor to help me drag up the solar panel. So my neighbor was standing on the ground and uh, heaving up the solar panel. I was standing on top and pulling it up with a string. So now let's take a look. I need to screw down the solar panel and I think I'm going to start at the other side. So now I need to bring the nuts into the right position.
done with screwing on the solar panel and this is really tight so I don't think that it will get ripped off very easily. Alright guys, so this was how to mount a solar panel on a camper van. Wow, it was probably the most difficult task uh, until now and I'm really happy that I have it on my roof now. Awesome. Okay, in the next video I will um, cut holes through the roof so that I can lead the solar cable down below and also I will add some caps here at the side so that the rain doesn't come in. Now what I also could do is I could mount even more of these brackets here and here and I could just drill a hole through the solar panel so it would not be any problem but honestly I think that 12 brackets are enough and I don't think I want to add more brackets right now. Alright, so this is it for today. I really want to thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.